Hello, welcome pen friends. It's been a long time since I did a face-to-face -face video. In fact, I got it all set up for just shooting down on my desk, but it's the holidays and I really wanted to try to do this. So here I am and I got my little helper Coco back here. Uh, usually his idea is to bring down all the snowmen and the rubber stamps, but hopefully he can behave while we do this. I want to talk about my notebooks today, or, or notebooks in general, and the three primary notebooks that I've chosen for 2023. Um, one of them is my planner, which will be the, the little Hobonichi Weeks, regular size. And so there's that one. And then uh, bullet journal, which I did pick up the new bullet journal. So I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm uh, going to talk about that a little bit. And then I have a black and red notebook to use for my reading journal, which is kind of new. But I'll show you in all three cases, I'll show you what I have been using and talk about why I think I'm on the right track with these particular things. Um, it's not a real huge deviation from what I've been doing. Um, so I guess we'll start with the, the planner. And uh, so I want to I want to hop in and this is the first time that I'll actually be using for the whole year uh, a real Hobonichi Weeks. It's not the first one I've owned because a viewer sent me one and I tried it out and I played in it and I did ink in it and everything and that made me realize, yeah, I, I really would enjoy and appreciate having fountain pen friendly paper in my planner. It's gonna take a little bit of a bridge in my mind though to, to tell myself that it's okay to use this good paper for planning and for <laughs> some of it will be mundane, but I'll get there because it's what I have and it's what I'm going to use too. So let's look at what I've been using. All this past year, it was a total success in this little faux Hobonichi, which they come like this. They look like this uh, from Amazon and they're about $8. And I'd already picked one up because I didn't want to be without one, but it's not dated. So I'm not going to fall back on it for this year, but I'll have it because I really didn't want to let it completely never see one again if it should turn out that I just can't adjust to better paper. And I know how that sounds, but it's a thing with me that I'm more apt to be creative and more apt to be um, free in my journals if they're not expensive, I guess is the way to put it. Uh-oh, somebody's helping too much. Well, we now have a headless snowman, but we've repaired it before. It's a, it, the head plugs back into the snowman, but Coco, he just gets carried away. I mean, I, I, today I've had a lot of time with him too, but he still wants more attention. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in the faux Hobonichi, I have just filled it up it, it, and I've really, really enjoyed it. I bonded with the notebook very, very soon into maybe February even. I, I just really like the size. And, and just real quick, before that, I was always in a little planner like you get at the Dollar Tree or, you know, you get anywhere that would have uh, monthly, you know, I just used it for appointments, but I was always frustrated because there was never extra paper. The most I had was like, uh, you know, margins to write in and then I would always write in the back. Look at all this mess. Um, I'd find myself at the doctor's office with someone being there with them and then I'd have my best ideas. So I needed at least, uh, you know, a few pages and I always have to carry something that allows me to record the next appointments. And so it's always been clear to me that I needed uh, uh, to see the month and I love to see the week. So the this format has really, really worked out. And I've got a couple pages marked that we can kind of just look at. So of course it had the monthly um, and this was April, just like the real Hobonichi, and it had them all in the front, and then uh, the weekly, which I just really, really liked keeping it, well, I guess super simple. I just made a box with a Tombow over here, and I like stickers, so I would use those, and then, um, you know, I've got, <laughs> last time I did something like this, I got criticism for actually writing down shower, but I just, you know, it helps me if I can check mark things, if I get things done. So, you know, when I'm super busy, I wouldn't be writing down the things that have to get done like that. But when I'm, 
when I'm not and when I'm really lacking the motivation, it, it helps anything. I mean, this one here was a really busy week, so it was like do Chris's inked pens video. And yes, call mom because I get mixed up on what day it is. I actually am like a um, absent-minded professor sometimes and we have appointment calls. We have three calls a week and it helps her to be structured. So that's how I do it. And <laughs> I can easily just all of a sudden, uh, I actually set a timer at, for about an hour before and uh, often Manuel will say, it's time to call your mom, you know, <laughs> it's time. And I'll be right, you know, like really thinking that it's not the right day. Anyway, that's just the way it is. It's, it's the way it is. And so um, I, I just enjoy seeing the whole week because that really informs me. You know, if we've got uh, appointments for, you know, anyone else or one of us or, or the cat or, you know, anything, I need to see it. I actually need to see it. I, I can't just do the, the monthly. So it's been great and it, it's proven because it, I'm all the way through and uh, okay, in the back, then I started doing little project things like I did a little clothing project and I did, um, I started listing the student pens or child pens that I want to do as I hear about them. So I'll be migrating this over into the new one. Um, it is hard at first. It's like I'm going to jump off a cliff and into a new book. It wouldn't matter if it was going to be this one even because I haven't bonded yet with the brand new one. So I think there won't be any problem because I just have to. I, I actually have to see things uh, monthly, weekly, and then I have to have extra space for all my... Um, <laughs> weird uh, writings. I, I Sometimes I write addresses, so I have to be really careful. I don't want to like publish somebody's address in, you know, on the internet and everything. Um, oh, and I even wrote down Ink Acquiring Minds. That's Doug. I wrote down his top 10 fountain pens. That was an interesting thing. I wrote that down on uh, December 11th. So, I mean, there's no end to what I might want to write down. And when I was researching a phone for mom, I did that. So um, I'm really happy. It's going to be different, and I'll, I'll kind of update you. Uh, I'll have some space to, to do the monthly uh, fountain pens that I have inked up. And I know all about 52 GSM to my river paper. I know it'll ghost. I know, you know, a lot about which uh, inks. Pretty much everything will work on it. It's just a matter of how heavy I put it in. Um, if, if I'm painting like I was with my little trial and trial one, let's see, that's up here, then it would be likely that I would need to leave, like I did this beautiful spread and then I found out, of course, uh, like Tamoy River does, you know, it would, it seeped through quite a bit. So I just make sure that it's pages I hadn't used or wasn't going to use. Um, and there are a few in the beginning because I'm not starting until, uh, you know, January 1st in the new one. I, I don't know what it is with me, but I just, it was, I guess, a pride thing to finish this one and to know that I did the whole year in it. And that's good. That's, I, I like that. So that's where I'm at with that one. But that's not the end of the story because I'll, I'll let you know more. And then next is bullet journal. So I stopped bullet journaling for a while. Whoops. Oh gosh, that's a lot of glare. That's a beautiful sticker, but it really needs to <laughs> it needs to kind of stay somewhere where it won't put your eye out. Um, this is a Loistrum, the 120 GSM paper, the thicker paper. And when I started in it, I didn't like it. Um, it was such a change from the regular Loistrum. And yet all of my fountain pens are good on it. And so it grew on me. It truly did. Let's see, I've got a page kind of... <laughs> That's the other thing I wanted to mention. Um... I have a page marked because there aren't very many pages. Most of this is a lot of processing and a lot of personal information and oh dear. So I don't show a lot of pages in my bullet journal anymore. And I think that's good in a way because it it's a trust thing with myself that I can be messy or I can do whatever I need to do and I'm not going to put it on display. So <laughs> it's okay. I, I love that people do that because I get inspiration from them. But... This is just a, uh, a spread 
that is not really, it's not fancy. In fact, it's a total mess, but it's going to lead into our next notebook. So that's why I, I had it. It's, I discovered um, Hardcore Literature Book Club, and I discovered a YouTube channel called Benjamin McAvoy. Okay, he's this wonderful young man that does... Um, classic literature and everything related to it and oh my goodness I wish I could have the means to uh, become a Patreon of his because what I was doing I was writing down the 10 or 11 books they're going to read for 2022 and I wanted to read at least one book that he recommended and so I went down a real fun rabbit hole and I picked up a few of these books um I discovered that classic literature is easy to get a hold of and quite Quite a lot of them are in the Half Price Bookstore. There's certain times a year when all the students have grabbed them up, but not, not this time of year. Um, anyway, that uh, made me realize, because I was carrying my whole bullet journal around with me to the bookstores, and that made me realize, but it was fun, it was nice, and, and the man that was helping me at one of the Black Cat bookstore was uh, really kind of intrigued, like, oh wow, you're so organized, and I thought, not really, but I can be, because I have more notebooks, you know, and I really want to have um, a separate notebook, but that's the next one, um, and then so to back up, what I really have been using the, the bullet journal for, I'll look at a monthly, I'll, I'll do a monthly spread, which I'm not even sure I need to do anymore. But let's see if there's October. Yeah, I didn't really fill it all in. So, um, you know, I would do the list and, and I don't need it anymore. And the reason I don't need it is because <coughs> the, the week's format is working so well for me to stay on track. And I take that with me. I take a tote bag and, and the little tiny little bag with my, I call it a camera, but it's a phone too, and my wallet. And I, I take the tote bag so that I can have my pens and, and my planner. So I don't really need this, but it does sort of help if, if I'm sitting on the couch and, and doing kind of process journaling and uh, not really planning because I'll have them both with me if I'm doing that. But what I, I'm likely to do is take notes and I'm likely to um, delve into projects, um, whatever they might be. And that's how I've used it. So I'm, I'm glad because this is really filling up. Um, and so it's going to be, it's not wasted by any means. And that made me want to get the new bullet journal. Um, I wanted to support Ryder Carroll and I wanted to, it's edition two. Uh, and I got the blue. I didn't like the lighter colors at all, and black is just a little bit too, I don't know, something for me. I like the navy blue very much. It's pretty. I haven't opened it yet, but I know that it has a guide in it. So it's got that and um, three bookmarks, po pocket, bullet journal guide. <clears throat> Excuse me. There. Um, the, the gas heat really dries my sinuses. It's just something else. Um, the gas furnace. So this is the same paper as the this maroon one and I so I'm I'm just gonna be it's gonna be very seamless to hop into this one and I'm really excited about it. It, it is dot grid. Um, it's it's nothing new. The A5 is proven for me that I'll stay in them. I've got I don't know maybe eight or nine filled up and yeah, I, I realized somewhere like midway through that it did really matter to me that I could pick up any fountain pen, even a double broad, and be able to write on the paper, even though I felt like I lost a little bit of the, the ink um, attributes on, on this paper, but not much. And I think maybe it's me comparing to my river paper to this paper, which is just totally not fair. You can't do that, but I was trying to. So the, you'll hear more about how this goes, and uh, I'm excited about it. I'm really happy. I, I got a sale, and I don't remember how much it ended up being, but it was definitely a good time to order it, so I did. Now, last but not least, because I think this is one of the most exciting things because I'm doing it differently. Um, I actually have never tried um, a black and red hardcover notebook before, and this is a lined edition. 
uh, it looks like about a seven to nine millimeter. It's quite wide. Let, let me see, maybe it, 90 GSM paper. And the back said something about Hamlin, Hamlin Brands, United Kingdom. Well, the Hamlin paper was great, and I know this is going to be good because this is recommended. And also I have a bigger one that was sent for my birthday by a pen friend. So, but this A5 A5 size will be perfect. I already know because I was lugging my bullet journal around. And I, I remember thinking, what if I lose that bullet journal with kind of a lot of stuff in it, maybe even addresses. I don't want that. I'd rather have all my information real good on how to contact me in my reading journal. If I did set it down, I'd be, I'd be upset, but at least, you know, it wouldn't be other people's information or too many um, <laughs> stray thoughts running around Corpus Christi. So I'm really looking forward to this, and I have a, a spread to transfer right away, so I'll, I'll uh, you know, indoctrinate the notebook this, this uh, week before we get to the first. But let's, let me show you what I was using. I was using a, a Chic Sparrow pocket size, and this worked out really good. There's nothing wrong with how this was going. I had a lot of different pocket inserts including one from Claire Fontaine, one from Great Fountain. This is the Great Fountain one with the cats. And then a Claire Fontaine one. And I even had a, an old Log and Jotter one. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see. I don't know what this one was. This is maybe Flame Tree or something. Yeah, Flame Tree notebook that wasn't very fountain pen friendly, but I liked the books on the cover. And I was listing authors and series, and I was reading historical romance, and I was reading, you know, a lot of uh, current fiction, things like that. But especially since I'm completely changing, I'm wanting to read some, uh, I always read a lot of nonfiction. But right now, for my fiction, I'm wanting to definitely go in the direction of some classics. And realizing that there's a lot of YouTubers that kind of pave the way for you know, what you might like and what you might not like and how to understand it better and which translation to get. I mean, it's a whole world, you know, <laughs> and so that's kind of neat. And I'm happy because I'm like a, a third of the way through um, Anna Karenina and it's just amazing. I mean, forget the movie. It's, it's so much better than the movie. Oh my goodness. I don't know like what I've been missing, I'm finding out. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'll be able to tote this around to the Black Cat bookstore, the Half Price bookstore, the Barnes & Noble, wherever I go. Uh, typically, I go to the used bookstores because I'm such a reader. And Manuel is too. So two readers, two heavy readers in the house. So there was just one more notebook related issue that I thought I'd bring up. And that is the fact that I continue to struggle with uh, not wanting to waste pages in my, you know, official bullet journal on uh, just like long form journaling. And yet I, I filled up several journals, especially during 2020 and even 2021. Uh, I filled them up with just that and I wasn't uh, lagging, but then all of a sudden I realized I'm tired of having so many journals. I just want my bullet journal and my planner. And then, you know, like the reading one, that's different because I've got to have that <laughs> free to take into the, um, the bookstore with me and, and really be able to, I should be able to have that for five years. You know, there's a lot of pages there. Um, so just in case I do have a dotted journal that I know worked out in the past and it was it's this celestial this is a Peter oh wait is it a Peter Popper I think it is but now I'm I'm blank so I'm gonna have to actually have to look that up because it doesn't like say so celestial dot matrix notebook okay don't quote me on the Peter Popper part because I can't remember um but I filled one of these up. I love the paper. It's really, really, really good. It's it's A5, and it's got the dot grid, and it's it's got everything I like in a journal. So, But I'm not going to open that up right away, because what I'm hoping is that I give myself permission to use the good notebooks and, and go ahead and, and write. And I'm not talking about, <laughs> you know, morning pages or complaint pages or anything. I'm talking about you know, be free to uh, do a little more documentation of what's happening and, and um, 
processing if that's what I need, gratitude, the whole, you know, I want it rolled into one as much as I can. So I'm going to encourage myself to do that. But I do have that as a fallback journal just in case because if, if I should happen to find out that 2023 requires that, um, fine, you know, that's what I'll do. And I have one more dot journal in case, in case I just fill this one up. Let's see how many pages is it? Uh, I don't know. It looks thick, but they're thick pages too. And they don't tend to have as many as the original. Let's see. This 120 GSM one had 200 and something pages. 203? 203. So that is quite a bit fewer. And I can't seem to see what this has. 206. Okay. My thought is that if I do what I really want to do, which is write uh, freely and... Uh, and I, I'm not hesitating, and I'm going ahead and giving myself permission, I probably will fill that up in about six months. So that's good. If that happens, that means it's working, and it, and it is working out well. And then I'll have the other one to go into. Not the same as this one, but that's okay, because the paper is very similar. And it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a dot grid... Um, uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. Dingbats. That's what, A5. So it's a nice notebook, and it shouldn't be hoarded. It needs to be used, and it's going to be because I like the paper in those, too. So I guess that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, hoping that it might inspire you or, um, it, you know, get... That's what we all need, I think, is inspiration because the most important thing for me is to write every day and um, to get stuff out on paper so that I can unclutter my brain and really, really get a wider view and and get out of my head and and know that it's there like the best feeling in the world for me is when I go ahead and stamp my page and start a little list for the next day and I do that every evening and and as long as I do that I find myself feeling better about things I don't go to bed worrying that I'm going to forget something because I have actually focused on um, at least three things that I want to put for the next day. Uh, even if I don't know, I'll just go ahead and put what I think is the best <laughs> project to work on, you know. And usually it's obvious. There's something that, that definitely needs to be done. So I guess that's it about notebooks. And I was already pulling kind of my tray for, um, you know, I'm thinking about, uh oh, I hope I don't spill these. <laughs> uh, thinking about fountain pens for January and, uh, I'm not going to put any ink in any pens until I get all my December pens all cleaned out. But I've already chosen, I see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for January. And uh, one, two, three of them are new to me. So that's exciting. Um, really, really exciting. I had one Christmas pen and, and two pens sent to me by a pen friend. And actually, there's a third, too, but it's already inked up. So I'll see how I go with that, whether I... Uh, clean it and re you know ink it new or not so obviously this isn't about pens this time I really wanted to talk about notebooks and uh, I get so inspired when I hear people talking about which notebooks they're going to use and how how it works for them it's hard for me to articulate but it's pretty it's pretty simple I need to know what we have to do and that that has to do with uh, you know the weeks that that's really worked for me um, way better than the monthly little um, thinner ones that I used. I used those for years. Like I, I want to say, I mean, I started so long ago with those and I saved a lot of them because it actually, it has really important information about surgeries and different things that happen. Um, but back then I didn't know there was such a thing as a weekly planner. And um, Yet, I love the freedom of a bullet journal where it's truly yours and no matter what you want to tailor it toward, you can do. Um, I can't believe that I went, I guess I went maybe three or four months not bullet journaling and I started to realize that I was, <laughs> I was not doing well in life without my bullet journal. So, I got right back into it. 
<sighs> okay, I've broken the ice about getting on <laughs> face-to-face video, and uh, I'm still learning my new phone, so I'm starting to use like pieces, elements, photos from my new phone, and the old one is, is connected to the Wi-Fi, and I really have a lot to learn on the camera part of it, but it turned out that learning the new phone was really easy, so... I have the exact same feeling, though, about the video and the camera part as I did with this one seven years ago. So <laughs> it's it's kind of humbling. Everything's new. The, the little uh, connectors are different. It's like a uh, oh, USB-C instead of what I had and the micro one. And oh, my goodness. And sometimes I resist learning, but I've got to I I am learning little by little. OK. <laughs> ramble <laughs> needs to be over and I just want to say happy new year because we're barreling toward that and uh, I hope you're doing well I hope you've got notebooks planned and know what you're going to be writing in I thought to myself the other day it doesn't matter what notebook it is as long as I write in it and I don't let the uh uh, wonderfulness of it hold me back because that's ridiculous it's like it's like continuing to wear your old shoes I'm guilty of that too um, when you've got you know you've already replaced them you have a new pair or not using a really nice fountain pen because you're afraid I don't know that you're gonna lose it and that's me too guilty <laughs> Okay, I gotta go now because I'm gonna start like a snowball downhill, but um, I'll see you soon. And uh, oh, I wanted to say just one more thing. I'm trying to catch up with comments, but what happens is the more enthusiastic I get about re doing videos and releasing them, the further behind I get. And I've got the two where I did uh, 10 pens I would repurchase and 10 I wouldn't. I've still got comments that I'm behind on answering and I really apologize for that but I think I think I'm going to eventually close the gap maybe between now and the new year I hope so It'd be nice to start 2023 without like uh, pages of of unanswered comments because I uh, I really love the comments I like to interact with everybody so I'll see you soon in the comment section and uh, on Instagram and have a happy happy new year bye for now